Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Lord Eyes and welcome back to From the Depths, Weird and Wonderful, where we've got a thing that's not quite as so giant as things we've recently reviewed, but it's still fairly big and I promise you we'll get back to uh, not quite so giant things in the near future. So, this, wonderfully, is something that was made by one of my uh, Patreon uh, subscribers, supporters, thing, I know words. Uh, I just mentioned that because, like, they shared it in the official Patreon Discord. Apologies for the plug, but that's where I found this. Uh, this is the ultimate combat craft. Combat and craft spelled with a K, so this is abbreviated as Tuck. And it is a Marauder fan build. It is a giant, well, Marauder. It is significantly bigger and more expensive uh, than the Marauder. And uh, made by uh, Amfritress, also known as on the workshop as I Iconis Muse. So yeah, thank you for that. Uh, Iconis Muse, Amfritress. This thing's fun. So despite the name, the name isn't meant to be taken seriously. It's a running, it's a joke on the fact that the Marauder, which I will spawn in uh, just for the sake of comparison. I will go here. Spawn in on my team. See Marauder. Right here. Okay, turn you up. So the Marauder is sometimes affectionately and sarcastically referred to as the superior combat vessel. In fact, the From the Depths community uh, managed to get it. I'm not sure if it's still the case. Actually, I'm gonna try that right now. If you type into Google Images, superior combat vessel, uh, the Marauder actually is the first thing to turn up, or at least it used to be. Superior combat vessel. Yep, it's still there! Oh, that is hilarious. It's still there, first thing to show up. Oh, that's funny. Anyway, so, uh, the Ultimate Combat Craft is, of course, a sequel to that. Uh, uh, you go away for a second, because we're not actually talking about you today. And, uh, let's have a tour of the inside of this. It's a little bit funky. Uh, giant-ass mannequins in here. This guy can't figure out the computer. And... Over here, this guy is just having an existential crisis. Here's... I don't know what this is. Maybe it's a tray of uh, green stuff. And we go down the ladder. And over here is... Remember to reload missile after using it. That sounds like a in-joke. And I'm not sure which one that is. And then over here we have the missiles. And some guy uh, giving, it a <laughs> giving it a nice big kick just to make sure. And these ACBs do do stuff. Uh, we'll fire weapons. And this is the counter missile system. This door isn't real. It's fake because it's nice and big. And I just fell through the floor. Excuse me. And down here we have more stuff. We have engine room. Absolutely no mannequins allowed. And this guy is protesting the injustice of it. And this door isn't real. It's a... Uh, it is, let's see, what's this actually made of? Yep, it is a fake door. Uh, so the mannequins are definitely not allowed in there. If you go around, you can see here, there's absolutely no way in. And here's another fake door. Uh, and this thing uh, possibly could sit a little bit higher in the water. Uh, because uh, the mannequins are a bit having a bit of a swim uh, right now. This one's dancing on a table, this one is not. And uh, the barman over there is just entirely sick and tired of all the crap in here. And if you ignore the fact that this is kind of flooded, it's quite cool in here. It's uh, it's all all walkable. Here's another guy having an existential crisis. He's like, oh man, how did I get how did I get here? Why did I get here? What is life? And so if you look at the innards of this thing, it's basically the Marauder just scaled up. Uh, in the front here is a big cram cannon. Uh, with a, what looks like mostly copy-pasted Tetris. It's just... yeah, this looks like... It looks like 2D Tetris, about a bit. Or just, uh... Maybe it plugged out? Hang on, let's see here. There's a way to tell this. Nope, it's still only four connections, so... This isn't actually 3D Tetris in here, it's just kind of slapped together. 
And over here is there's some air guns. This is a direct input fed gun up here. So a little bit extra front siding. And so if we see here, this is just a giant... Uh, <laughs> Suppose shaped cho that's an interesting choice and by interesting. I mean this is not optimized, but come on. This is this is a fan build You think the Marauder was optimized and uh, over here in where the engine compartment would have been or instead some cram mortars uh, These appear to be on turrets, which is interesting and fun uh, The main benefit of doing this by the way I do this myself is just to keep the local weapon controller away from the surface of the craft where it can get shot at uh, so these are reasonably, uh, reasonably chunky mortars. This is this is mostly a kind of what is this? This is mostly hardener and frag. Is it? That's hollow point. Hollow point frag. And we go down here. There's little compartments here, there, and everywhere. There's an ammo compartment, and uh, there's other stuff here. There's materials, more ammo. Where the engines go? Oh no, I know where it is. So there's a little rubber AI compartment. Here's the engines. It's all the way in the back here. Here's the uh, here's the paddles going nuts. And so yeah, this thing I don't think it can beat the crossbones one on one, but it's worth showing off anyway. Hang on, what is the expense of this? Uh, Two hundred forty thousand materials. And if you go here, the plunder new crossbones is a little bit more than that. Let's try and find. Something in the ballpark. Let's go for the buccaneer. That that seems. Uh oh. Did not mean to do that. Go away. I meant to do this. Go forth. Oh, I've completely forgot to show off what that cram cannon is packing. It is packing. That's a ram. That looks to be... it looks to be a kinetic frag penetrator, so that's nice. And we appear to have fired off torpedoes. Which is not the smartest thing in the world. But there goes a large missile. Is that cram cannon gonna do anything? It's gonna miss horribly, but... It's a missile. Oh yeah, that's a remote guided heat missile, by the way. Let's see if this fella can uh, keep its butt pointed towards the target. Yep, so anti-crime missile interceptors. Let's see if that cram cannon does something. That cram cannon did something, that's for sure. So yeah! Ultimate combat craft. No, THE ultimate combat craft. The is important because that's what makes Tuck. Tuck, the magic ship thing. Shooting things at large. You missed, you fool! Problem with cram frontsiders. We are doing quite well, though. Look at that. Tuck is doing well. She's not super good at aiming for things that are... Oh, there's a cram mortar. That's definitely not going to hit anything. This, on the other hand... we That knocked something off. Yay. So I just like this thing. This is like, if you've never tried... I've done a video or two just showing off, like, you know, making a... Making a bastion, making a, a bulwark. Just that, like, you know, making your own version of that, or making a... Doing the thing, but with a twist. That's fun. I encourage everybody to try... To try making a neater uh, fan build at least once, because it's fun and hilarious. Come on, Tuck. Believe in you. You can totally do this. There's no way those mortars are gonna hit, are they? Oh my word, they are not going to hit. They are going to hit. Wow. Tuck is certainly the ultimate combat craft, because she just managed to hit an airship with mortars. That is epic. Truly epic. I think that diff shot missed. <laughs> and you did that. And not quite AI dead. Oh boy. Apologies for not being super energetic. I've messed up my sleeping schedule again. But Tuck is worth it. Tuck is great. Everyone should make a Marauder. 
Everyone should, like, how are you supposed to go marauding if you don't have a marauder? Like, how is it physically possible? I don't think it is. Oh, boy. Yay. This is just fun to watch. And splat. So, yeah, not super optimized, but weird and wonderful simply because they are for the idea behind it. Also, in Alpha Test, propellers are appearing on Deep Water Guard things. It's fantastic. Oh, dear. Tuck, you better point towards the foe better. Otherwise, people are going to think you're silly. They might start to think you're not their ultimate combat craft, and that simply will not do. That will not do at all. Remember, I think this it was uh, it was Rosefall who added the Buccaneer. Well, no, submitted the original Buccaneer. I wonder what he's doing these days. Rosefall is another from the depths content creator. I have. That's from, like, these old school. He's back from in the same days as uh, Ireland Gaming. Yes, I mentioned him. Sorry to make you sad if you know who that is. Love that man. Like Rosefall, too. Come on. Kill the Buccaneer. You know you can. Yeah, that cram cannon needs a little bit of fusing tweaks. I do like how you can tell when mortars are about to land, generally, by when the next one fires. I mean, that's not a hard and fast rule, but uh, for something moving about 150 meters per second, it's generally how it goes. Come on, Tuck. Wow, the Buccaneer has major holes in it. We I'm distracted now. Yay! We are victorious! Favorite line in any real-time strategy game is, You are victorious! You have won! You have done the thing! So yeah! Tuck! The ultimate combat craft! Lovely, lovely! Uh, thank you, Iconius Muse, aka... Let's see if I can pronounce it. Please don't freeze from the... <laughs> wow! Oh dear, Tuck won so hard that uh, the game was like... Ugh! Uh, Amphitrit... Am... Amphitrit... Amphrit... Amphriteris. Amphriteris. I think that's how you say it. Well, thank you, Amphriteris, for making this thing that brought me joy, and I hope it's brought everyone joy for having seen it. And thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps, and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters, and I will see you next time in Front of the Depths. Weird and wonderful. I almost forgot my own outro. Farewell.